I thought that uh, this was two very good football teams battling. The first half was a lot of fi uh, filling out uh, just to see what each one was trying to do. Um, we missed opportunities in the first half, and that came back to haunt us there in the second half. And then uh, second half, I thought that uh, Western Illinois really started establishing themselves offensively, started coming up with some plays there, some uh, big catches there by their receivers, I thought really turned momentum for them. Guys take it personally when you lose, and, um, and I think especially since the way we started the game, the way we came out, we, we feel like we kind of let things slip. And I mean, hats off to Western Illinois. They took advantage of some key mistakes we made, and they made some great plays in the second half. Um, but I mean, I think the loss truly hasn't sunk in yet, for especially for the older guys. Um, but we still have a lot to celebrate uh, having a great season this past year. We put ourselves in the best possible position to host a game, and we were lucky enough to do that. And I mean, it's special being at home in front of our, our fans and our families, and and it's just kind of I mean, it's bittersweet. You know, we were able to we were able to be at home, but coming out with the loss, it's I mean, it's tough. The last time the last time we're going to be out there, we try to fit our gaps. <clears throat> and, um, they they got a little bit of movement on us um, on the D line and the the linebacker uh, positions. But you know, I, I think overall we played really well. Uh, we really contained uh, their their running game, and uh, extremely proud of this defense. It was the most successful seasons Dayton's ever had in the first playoff for the FCS uh, championship. So that's something that these young men will never forget. And I told them afterwards, I think it'll be something this school and this community and the alumni will never forget. To experience this and to play as well as we did all year and just the heart and the poise that they showed as you heard earlier the comebacks we made against some awfully good football teams and I just think that shows you how tough-minded Dayton football players are and they don't they don't uh, let things get to them too much here they kept fighting today uh, we just uh, the second half there we just couldn't come up with the plays when we made